as our, we research um, some place to um, get help for Tiger and for us and our family, um, uh, it was some type of full-time placement, we, we realized that, whoa, all these placements, especially in our area, are very institutional. I mean, either they're dedicated to really just medicating and keeping the child medicated, or um, or um, really on a kind of a lockdown status for the, for the child, or um, but nothing that would really stretch and grow them as people. And, uh, and so then, um, you know, happen to come by um, the website off of the attached, different attached sites or attachment organizations, sites of Kalo. And what was amazing about the Change Academy Lake of the Ozarks um, was that it was, seemed to be extremely progressive and positive. You know, an environment where all this negativity that the child was bringing here to our home um, could then be almost counteracted by a, a 24 hour staff who had a, had a positive attitude about handling it. So anything that they could do that was encouraging. Um, uh, so like when they're going through um, a behavior, what we've noticed is, is just be alongside them and kind of coach them through it and um, let them have their fits, but then also have enough staff around or enough people around where they, you know, nobody's going to get burned out on that. Um, so that kid can always experience a, a positive um, role model in their life in the midst of their um, tantrums or fits or the struggles that they're having or the things that they'd be scared of. Um, another um, aspect that I saw just right away was that, um, you know, whatever they could do, you know, so if a canine or, or a dog or an animal they could empathize with, well, let's, let's build that, let's empathize with that. Um, if, there's a, if, the, if the counselor can be involved in, in their actual life experiences um, while they're living, uh, well then that's something that Kayla off, also offered. And also just of course the group dynamic of the other kids learning and teaching each other since they're often not going to um, learn from an elder. So um, there's just, those are just a few of the aspects that I noticed just right away. I was like, whoa, whoa, this is, they're really expanding and growing and really thinking about the kid's best interest and not just um, what is going to manage the kid um, through their behavior. Behaviors, but really what is going to grow the kid as they're living, as they're, what's going to transition them to be able to be healthy and, and be able to relate to people in the future, which is going to be the rest of their lives.